Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, I got Drew, my son. Hey. We're doing some taste testing. We're doing part two of two for the HBC 522 West Coast IPA. Remember it was brewed with Star Party, or should we say fermented, with Star Party from Omega yeast, and it's 404, it's the thiol. Learned a ton even since the brewing, had lots of people jump into the comments, shared a lot of great information. I did some research, um, even paying for some training from someone that I've been getting a lot of information from and I jumped in there and they had a new video from Omega. Went really intense. It was like, I wanna say it was almost 40 minutes of training information. So it's very nice, a little on the sci-fi side, you know what I mean, a little high tech. And I kept hearing the we're not really sure thing, which seems to be a common thing with thiol. <laughs> you mean thiol, not sure. they're not sure. They're like, okay. well, and it should do this, but we're still learning. Or it appears to do this, but we're still learning. Yeah, it's a, such a small, minute amount of the hops that actually triggers this. We did learn, which I'll be doing one of these, if we put the hops into the mash, it will only give us about 30% to 33% of the IBUs, and for supposedly it adds the precursors into the wort to help even more thiols, to help promote that as far as the hop, dry hopping and everything. You still wanna dry hop. You, dry hopping is definitely the big thing with this stuff. But this is HBC 522, part two. Like I said, don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing, definitely appreciate it. This has been in a fermenter, then it went to a chiller. I haven't even put it in my teaser. So we're gonna use the Picnic Tap 2.0. I did leave it at 30 PSI for a long time and the way I fermented it and the way I moved it with pressure transfer, I really haven't opened it. I just let it slowly carbonate because I didn't want to lose any of that amazing aroma. So I've had tiny samples as it's trying to carbonate to see if it's there. It's not 100% there, but we're probably gonna get a little extra foam because yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went a little nuts. I cut a lot of the barbs off here, probably too many barbs, so I'm probably gonna get a little more carbonation than I should have. I just want it to pour a little faster. I didn't want you all sitting there on camera waiting. This one looks like it's got a little calcium deposit from the wash, so I'll use that one. I give him the clean one. Thanks. So here we go, we're gonna do some taste testing. Let's see if I can keep from getting all the foam because like I said, I way, way pressurize this bad boy. Oh, there we go. Looking beautiful. Yeah, I'll give him a half, we got some other stuff. We're gonna do some more drinking. So, looks very pretty. I did put a little bit of gelatin in there before I cold crashed it. So it's relatively clearer than I think it would have been. The Based on, I know some things about the mosaic one we did. I'm gonna say the hops contributed to the little bit of haze I'm still seeing. I mean, it's, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear, but there is a tiny bit of haze. And I'm gonna tell you the mosaic looked crystal clear when I checked it out. So it's gotta be the hops. That's the only thing different between the two brews is the hops. So I'm gonna let Drew go ahead and take the first taste. Hey, wait, Drew, hmm? what does the star party bring to this? Forgot about that. Uh, let me tell you the HBC 522 while well, he's finding that in there. HBC 522 is going to bring us a little floral, citrus such as orange and grapefruit, and a hint of pine needles. Like I said, you know, as long as I'm tasting a bit of pine and I'm not getting stabbed, I'm okay. So what is the Star Party bringing us? Am I doing this like an ad read? I, mean, I don't know, just what is very Star Party is a thiol burst with aromas of passion fruit, dank pink guava, and citrus zest. So that's what we're looking for. Wow. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I know what the aroma is, and I haven't really smelled it. I've just been taking tiny sips. Orange? I can smell orange. I smell something from the, the actual yeast right off the bat. I don't know, passion fruit? I can smell the passion fruit. The passion fruit and the guava. <laughs> I'm, nose broken. I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a friend of guava. I grew up with a guava tree near a house that I lived at. Oh, and, you know it when you say it. Yeah, and they used to rot in the sun, and I like it's guava. hard to like guava when you smell rotting guava because it smells like, yeah, we'll, we'll, not, we'll leave that out, censored it. It does not smell good. But well, I like guava. You don't I like just, it when it's been cooked in the sun. It smells like vomit. Well, no, obviously. <laughs> but. God, it smells amazing. It's not like totally in your face. You gotta put your nose in there, but it's Poison really nice. Yeah, now it's all like water. I'm sorry. <laughs> like the, the flavor profile makes a lot more sense. When you think about that. Okay, when I take a sip, I'm getting a lot of citrus. So I can see the citrus, the zest. I definitely get the, the orange more than the grapefruit. I yeah. get a little bit of grapefruit. 
but I get a lot but more of orange. Orange. Yeah. orange definitely stands out. I think if I had to say I was tasting or smelling pine needles, they might be there, but it would be reaching a little it's bit. It's like faint. Yeah. It's very faint. The floral, I think, overshadows anything that you might taste as far as pine. Because the floral's nice, but it's just a light, pleasant floral. It's not like nasty or I'm eating a rose bush, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like a, what's, what's a floral one? Like little, it's little uh, crunkles kind of floral? Yes, it a little bit, but it's more tropical, but yes, so yeah. it's got a hint of floral in it. So not like that. No. Yeah, no. And I could taste a hint of peach, maybe, or something in there that's stone fruit. Maybe it's the passion fruit I'm tasting. But the, the aromas are really seem to be from the yeast more than the hops, although the hops are probably complementing it very well. When I'm looking at the, the what I'm expecting, and I know it's kind of poisoning the tree, should we say, but I get more of the yeast in the aroma and I get more of the hops in the taste. And I mean, it's all about aroma there, even though they say part taste. I'm, you know, what, how much do you taste? Probably 80% of what you smell. More I like sip it and drink it. I can smell the grapefruit a little bit more, but it does taste more like orange than grapefruit with the citrus. I had a very minor belch and I tasted a lot of grapefruit. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I'm gonna say like very orangey, kind of floral. And then and um, I, definitely the guava. The yeah, fruit. I get a bit of the, the bitter, but that was something too that he was mentioning too. It's nice to have an IPA that isn't really bitter in your face. It's just a nice mild bitter. So, and I was focusing on that. I really wanted to stay around the 53, 55, preferably 55 IBUs. Yeah. I know it's theoretical, but. Can't drink a power wrecker every day. Yeah. <laughs> Can't go like 200 IBU in theory, you know? But yeah, very, very drinkable. Got five gallons, can be sharing some of this out local, but very, very nice brew. I, from what I've learned from the comments, and I definitely appreciate everybody jumping in there. You'll learn I'm far from an English major, you know what I mean? Love math. Each of us is helping pretty much everybody who reads the comments. And each seems to help another brewer, home brewer to learn even more and more. And I definitely appreciate everybody out there who jumped in on the comments on the last two, the Mosaic and the HBC 522 brews, and helped me understand things that maybe I didn't fully understand, or things that I wasn't sure and they couldn't explain it to where I understood. So I went out and watched videos and some of the videos actually made a lot more sense than what I read, which was great because before I did the videos, I just read everything. I didn't watch videos and there's a lady who I cannot remember her name from Omega Yeast. She did a very good job of explaining it in one video and then several of her videos were very confusing because it was a little over my head, should we say. So we'll get there, I'm learning too. Cheers, thanks for joining us here at Bitter Reality Brewing. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. If you're looking to get HBC 522, I got that from Yakima Valley Hops. I'm not sure if everybody else is selling it. Um, and then of course these. The Star Party Ale, I think everybody's got it now, but I got it from Great Fermentations. Um, I believe More Beer has it, and probably Adventures in Home Brewing, but a lot of other people have it now, which is good. Actually, I think one of them, no, Adventures just started carrying Imperial, so eh, they already had Omega. Cheers, thanks again.